Today we've got a build video, but not in the traditional sense. There's no fixed budget or anything like this, although this wouldn't be a half bad build in my honest opinion. But anyways, what we're doing today is we're building a computer with one hand. We're. No, not we're. Me. I, myself. Well, I guess that's we're, technically. But me, yes, I'm building a computer with one hand. It's a challenge, and I'm going to be assembling the computer with one hand. What I will do is unbox things with two hands. That That's just, I'm not doing that. And also the, the power supply has the cables already plugged in. But that is all the prep work that is laid out for me. So um, we're gonna get into this and we're gonna build this computer with one hand. What's up guys, my name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC patch reviews, guides, mods, and more. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. So a couple things first, Be Quiet sent over their Silent Base 801. And I'm using this in particular because this is a very easy case to work with. It's very toolless. It's probably one of the easier cases I could be working with that I'm only using one hand. So on the flip side, I'm also demonstrating how easy it is to work in this case, as well as using the Dark Rock 4 over here, which will be the CPU cooler of my choice, which has a pretty easy installation. I reviewed the Silent Base 601, and that was a fantastic case all around. Very easy to use, cable management was flawless and easy, and the panels are just a one button push off a hinge and you take it off. It's absolutely fantastic. And if you guys are interested in the parts here, we do have quite a decent lineup of things. I mean, we have an 8600K a 980 Ti, which is an older card, I know, but on eBay, they go for around 230 bucks. And we got some Silent Wings 3 fans over here, which are some of my favorite fans. Um, all together so uh, we're gonna get into this build and we're gonna build it with one hand so let's do it got the RAM over here got the CPU over here I know I said I wasn't gonna unpack anything with one hand but we're gonna do it with the CPU because you know YOLO maybe I should just use my other hand for this one yeah there we go just one hand one hand you got this you got this all right I think that's the arrow right there okay all right, give it a little jiggle jiggle. And there we go. I would install the RAM right now, but I got to install the cooler first. Let me put this to the wayside just for a second. This part's going to be difficult. You got to line a lot of stuff up. Doesn't matter what kind of cooler it is, where we're matching on the back plate over here. Okay, inside corners, inside corners. Okay, doesn't matter which side. I don't think so. So these. Got to go on the inside. No, nope. that's not right. Is that right? They have to fit just right in the square. This is going to be difficult. Come on. I think we've got one. We got one. All right, now that that's in, got to slide a little rubber washer down. Okay. There's one. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get number two. Oh, for the love of God. Don't do me like this. Oh, did we get it? I think we got it. I think we got them. All right. I got one. There we go. It's in all the way. All right, two more to go. All right, come on, come on. All right, got that one. Starting to get the hang of that. I'm probably gonna eat those words in just a second. And it is really tempting to use my other hand right now, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. All right, rubber washers are down. Now we just gotta put this on the motherboard. I'll just like put it up over here and see how this works. Okay, there's one. How about I flip it over? There we go. Let's see if I can do, wow. Wow, my genius, not really. Okay, now I'll just screw these bad boys on. This part I can do. I'm gonna switch to my other hand. You know, I gotta, I gotta give them both some love. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera. I'm totally blocking the camera, aren't I? Okay, those are all tightened down. I believe these go like this. Now this part's gonna be tricky because these are gonna just slide off without my other hand being there. Oh, good Lord. Um, Here, I got an idea. Keep it from sliding. Nope, that's a bad idea. This does come with a magnetic screwdriver. So, where did that one go? I don't know where it went. So, we're just going to use a different one. There we go. All right, out of here, Ramstick. I knew that was a bad idea. Careful. Oh, you. Oh, here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you like them apples? Okay. Got the next one. Let's go. See, once you get one screw in, you're good. You're good. Where did that other screw go? 
I feel like they just disappear into nothingness. Okay. Come on. Son of a you have to get it right the first time. You just gotta go right through. There we go. It's like operation. If you touch the sides of the screw hole or somewhere else that's not the hole, then uh, it just messes up everything. All right, here we go. There we go. Now let's get a little thermal paste on there. If I can unscrew this with one hand. There we go. Make sure we put on enough to make the Verge happy. All right, do I really have to recap this? Eh. Oh, you, I'm just gonna use two hands for this. I, I, don't, I don't care. That's not part of building a PC. Gotta put in the cross brace thingy. Think we're good? It just kind of falls in place, honestly. Okay, that's nice. Okay, now we're gonna use the screwdriver again. Oh man, how am I gonna plug everything in? All right, I'm just gonna loosely put that in there. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down just yet. Get in this one. Fan clips look like they're gonna be some trouble. What I should do is actually just install the RAM first. And of course, I'm going with two sticks. Could just go with one, but no, let's just make it a little bit harder on myself, shall we? Is this the right way? Okay, that one's in. All right, cool. Cool, now we gotta put on fan clips. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, to be honest with you. You suck. I'm gonna use my other hand. I'm not using both at the same time, don't worry. Alrighty. You, as easy as they come out, they go back in pretty easily. So that's, that's at least pretty nice. This is difficult. Okay. And two, let's get the other side. Don't worry, I'm just twirling the box. I'm not using my other hand to build the computer. All right, come on, there we go. And come on, pop it in, pop it in. There we go. And then CPU fan one is over here. Shazam. Ooh, that wasn't that bad ish. I put it inside the case, so that's going to be interesting. All right, so we got the Silent Base 801 over here. I believe this case is like 150 bucks, and you get pure wings to fans. I can't remember, but anyways, those fans are like 22 bucks each, and you get three of them, so that's like 60 bucks worth of fans there, right there. So we're going to open up the side panel with just one button that we push in the back and it just comes out on the hinge like this and then shazam you pull it right off i mean look at that 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 is amazing all right now i am going to use both hands to gently rest down the case because i think that's only fair also this comes off pretty easily too the front can't use the other hand i'm just using my forearm there we go okay there we go can you guys see the inside of that no not really all right so Let's get it in that pesky IO shield. We know the stories, we know. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Come on, pop in, pop in. Do it, just do it. All right, I got them in. Okay, now we're just gonna lower this in. This board does have weird dimensions. It's not like a full ATX, not micro ATX. It's, it has a thinner profile than regular ATX boards. So I believe these are the motherboard screws. Nope, that doesn't feel like a motherboard screw. I'm guessing these are the motherboard screws. Here's one right here. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Probably not. What I like to do is get the corners in first. Oh, there's Christmas music playing in the background. If you guys hear it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We celebrate Christmas. Please don't be offended. All right, gonna get this one. Come on. Come on. There we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm just tossing the screw into the screw hole so that it's just seated in there. Just enough for me to mess up. Wow, that's fine. Is it lined up properly? No, it's just a little bit off. Come on, baby. All right, we'll try, we'll try this one. All right, that one's in. Let's see if we can get this one. We just need the motherboard to stay in. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. I don't want to cable manage with one hand. You know, I'm not going to cable manage this with one hand. I'm totally blocking the view right now. Huh. There we go. And I'm sorry I didn't capture it on video. Well, I did. It's just my arm was in the way. Okay, let's try to get this one in the corner. Do we got a bite? Do we got a bite? We got a bite. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got we got one more screw to go. One more screw to go. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on. There we go. That one's in. I think that's all of them. All right, we got the music lowered down. <laughs> um, what do we want to do next? I think I want to get the fans in next. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use two hands to lift this, guys. I have to be sensible about this, otherwise I'm gonna break something and I can't afford that right now. 
Oh, don't do that to me. Um, what we're gonna do here is get this tray out. All right, so we're gonna install three fans on the top here. There we go. Look at that, slides right out. A fan tray. Absolutely love these things. All right, here's our three fans, and this I'm gonna use two hands to uh, unbox. So, hey, just look at this packaging. So nice. Okay, so I, I just put together these fans. I used two hands, but uh, that's part of the prep work, honestly, so yeah. So we want them to blow air upwards, and we want the wires facing towards the rear. So it's nice that you can kind of plan this out beforehand. Can you even fit three 140s on this fan rack? I don't even know. About to find out. And then you just line her up. Wow. And now that we got them lined up, we'll just screw it in. Let's we'll start with the middle one. I'll just slightly put them in there. Just enough to hold it in place. This way that the twisting motion doesn't spin the fan around and then misalign everything else that I already had set up over here. I think I don't have to install any fans over here, over here, because I don't know what I would have done, because that would have been way too difficult. Maybe I can use someone else's hand. Just like, hey, it's not my other hand, so can you help me there? Okay. That's the last one. Now I can tighten all these down. Okay, and for the rear of the case, same thing. I guess I'll use one hand again. There we go. Just pushing the button and then this pops right out. And there is so much room in the rear for cable management, it's it's just a dream. Uh, we'll get the power supply in um, and then we'll get this SSD in. But first, let's take a selfie. All right, just gotta undo this right here and then we'll just install the PSU on that. What's really nice about this power supply, it has like a rubber backing to it so that it lowers the, uh, the noise from any vibration caused by the power supply. All right, so. Let me first line these up. I think I'm gonna do is just stick a screw through and do that. And we'll get this one in over here. Got that one in. These little fancy knobs come with this power supply, so that kind of helps. Let's see if I can do this. Should be simple enough, right? One would hope. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's upside down. Power supply installed. Nice. Oh, well, it's not going to be so nice as trying to plug everything in, but uh, you know how that goes. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, we only need two screws, right? We don't need we don't need four in there. And we'll just we'll just put this here for the time being. We'll put in the cables in a little bit. Let's get these fan cables. There's one, there's two, there's three. Plug that one in. And then we got this one from over here. Front panel connector is good. Lord, that's a lot. I'll worry about that later. I'm gonna try to plug in a SATA connector. See, where's the little L? Oh, jeez. Ooh, did we do it? I think we did it. We did it! All right. All right, now let's get this. Boom. There we go. Got him. So this 24 pin connector is a little tricky because it's not the full 24 pin, it's the 20 plus four. I think we got it. Looks like we got it. All right, USB 3.0. Okay, that's in. CPU connector, CPU. All right, this one's gonna be tricky. You probably can't even see a thing. Audio probably sounds really weird because I'm not even talking straight into the microphone. All right, let's get those front panel connectors. There we go. I know. That's HDD right there. Power LED plus is on the left side. Power LED negative right side. Uh, we got our reset switch that goes on the bottom. Power switch goes, there we go. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now let's get the SATA connector. Where are ya buddy? Oh, got some friends I see. Get out of here. Why, why do I have a right angle right now? Okay. That's not too bad. All right, now we gotta put the GPU in. This one's just not coming out. Come on now, come on now. Take the slot covers out, push back the GPU tab. I think that's plugged in. A little black, orange, and gold color scheme going on here. Actually, doesn't look bad. All right, now I just gotta get the GPU plugged in. Wait a minute. Oh no. It looks as though my GPU connector fell out. I would have to undo the power supply, but this case actually features something pretty nice. 
you can just pop this cover out. This is actually uh, really convenient that this happens. Now I just gotta find the connector. It's right here. All right, so right there, that's where the PCIe connector is. Make sure it's plugged in. Yep, feels pretty plugged in. And there's a hard drive cage over here, but you can just take that out with a couple of thumb screws. Well, that was convenient and nice to show off. You have to connect a little plus two connector on the side here. Okay, that works. All right, so that worked out really nicely. <laughs> just pop on the panel real quick. There we go. Okay, and the last thing to install is this hard drive. I forgot the other SATA cable to plug into the motherboard. I'm not gonna be using the drive, so I'm just gonna be installing it with the screws. So this is the hard drive cage, and it just comes out. Undo the little three thumb screws, and it pops right out. It's really easy. Now we just gotta screw this into place. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Just gonna slide it, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna push it to the top slot. Just make sure it's aligned. Get our four screws right here. All right, there we go. That is so easy, it's so nice. I think that's plugged in, is that plugged in? Yeah, that's plugged in. That's everything we need to plug in. As you can see from my cable managing, it is not the best, but that doesn't really matter to me right now because I'm only using one hand. This is my favorite part. Come on. Right, I'm gonna switch over to this hand. Is it in place? I think it is. There we go. You just hinge it in there and you're good. No cable management necessary. And then we'll just slot this back on here. And shazam. Boom. Moment of truth, let's see if this turns on. All right, if this turns on. Boom, it's on. It's on. <laughs> I built a computer with one hand. All right, guys, I built the computer with one hand. That's right, no cable management whatsoever. I mean, I did feed some cables through, but that was pretty much it. I'm actually pretty surprised this went as well as it did, and it actually looks like a pretty decent PC in my opinion. We'll get some B-roll in a minute, but I do want to talk to you guys about uh, the channel just for a second. And if you guys are done watching the video and you don't want to hear about the channel updates, that's fine. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing. For those of you who want to stick around and have been veterans of this channel, uh, just stick around for a couple minutes as I describe what's going to happen next. So I just landed a job for software development at Fidelity Investments and I'm going to be working full time. Uh, previously, I was not working full time. I was doing some restaurant business, I was doing some photography, and I was doing some other freelance work for computers and stuff like that. And it was just pretty much come and go, and I was doing YouTube primarily. Now YouTube is not a great source of revenue for me right now, so I'm not gonna be really doing that for uh, revenue purposes, at least in the foreseeable future right now, maybe later on, but for right now, I. I have to have a full-time job and I do want to do a full-time job in software development so that's something of my interest but it does require me to move and I'm gonna be working full-time so uh, videos will be a lot less frequent um, I will be working on videos maybe over the weekends or perhaps nights when I come home from work and that'll be pretty much it the types of videos I'll be doing won't be so much around reviews anymore I will do some reviews here and there for products I find really interesting but my time is gonna be so limited I wanna make sure the videos that I'm doing are creative and interesting to both me and the audience. So I wanna make sure I'm catering to both sides of the party like that. So what I'll be doing is mostly build videos, perhaps uh, build guides, maybe a few appearances from Batman, who knows? Uh, so that's kind of the update with the channel. As far as the next video is gonna be coming out, I have no date. Uh, just because I'm in the middle of the move and it's between the holidays and I'm just probably not gonna have the time to make a video for a while. I have to settle in and it's gonna take me at least a month to settle in and get things into a routine where I can start setting up the studio again and start making videos in the midst of all the chaos. It's gonna be a couple weeks to a few months until the next video comes out and I'm sorry about that but I have to be upfront and honest with you guys. I am a one-man team so it takes a long time to make these videos. I want to make sure I'm making something that's polished, looks nice, and that's not being rushed because there's a lot that goes into these videos. So yeah, it's gonna be a while before I can make another video and I just wanna let you guys know about that. With that being said, we're gonna close off the year with some nice B-roll of this computer. It won't be super fancy or anything like that, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy your holidays. Have a very merry, happy new year. I appreciate you all for being here and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that comes across. Much love to you all. I'll catch you guys in the next one.